Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another brand new BMW M product. This is the brand new facelifted M3 Touring. Now, before we go and take a look at the exterior and interior changes to the M3 Touring, we need to talk about what's different under here. Of course, it's still available with this phenomenal three liter, six cylinder twin turbocharged engine. Only power has now gone up to around 530 horsepower. It's only available as an X-Drive all wheel drive system and an automatic gearbox. The 0 to 62 mile an hour time as well has come down a smidge to just 3.6 seconds. I don't know about you, but the, the M3 Touring was no slouch to begin with, and I can't wait to drive one of these slightly updated ones. Now, let's start our look at the exterior design of this car. And to be honest, not that much has changed, but I think the changes are enough to really give this car a slightly different look and slightly different characteristics, especially down here at the front. You'll notice that the big, large kidney grills are the same. You've still got this amazing sculpture to the front bumper where the kidney grills drop in. The logo is directly in the middle, the roundel, sorry. And then you've got these sort of elements here all on the bonnet, which just give it such an aggressive stance. You then got this bumper down here, which hasn't really changed, but yeah, the differences are in the lights. You take a look at those front lights. Now gone are the Corona rings. We now have this sort of arrow effect. I don't know what the actual name for those is. Now, let us know in the comments what you think. Do you like those? Do you prefer the Corona rings of before? I personally think these now look fantastic and strangely just a slight change to the lights I think has changed the whole face of this car. I think it looks now very very different to before. I just think it looks fantastic. I love the double slats on the kidney grills and I know I'll get some stick for this but I think these have aged incredibly well. They look amazing. This car is so aggressive at the front and especially now with these new lights it's such an aggressive thing to look at. Now, as we move alongside the car, it's traditional touring. Of course, we've still got the elements down here, and to be honest, nothing's changed on the side. We've still got the swage line, which runs the whole way through the car. We've still got the signature M door mirrors, and we need to talk about the spec on this particular car. This is black sapphire. I love the black wheels and the black calipers as well, and we'll take a look at the interior shortly, but it is very, very special. Of course, this being a touring, you've got big doors at the back, loads of space in there, and it's just, I think the touring is just infinitely a cool car as we move around the rear this i think is one of the best bits of the m3 touring it's so wide and aggressive nothing has changed down the rear but i think that's a great thing you've got this additional rear spoiler up here which sort of complements the shopping chute what an amazing feature to have drop it back down and then yeah the rear diffuser is so aggressive on this the big quad pipes of course and then it's just so wide and squat at the back i think it's a fabulous thing to see and of course you get an electronically folding tailgate as standard and there's just acres and acres of space what more do you need it's a high performance m3 with a with a huge boot i mean come on how amazing, let's put that back down. But yeah, as I say, I still really love these wraparound LED lights. They haven't changed and everything else on the back of here hasn't changed except a slight difference to the badge. Now let's go and take a look inside because there are a few more changes to talk about in there. Now it's in here where there is a noticeable difference, but as promised, we just need to talk about the spec on this car. It has this incredible cognac leather throughout in these amazing seats. Now this hasn't got the carbon fiber buckets. Now they are no longer part of the ultimate pack. The ultimate pack still gets you everything you're gonna need, but you just don't have the carbon seats anymore. And for me personally, I would probably just go for these seats anyway. As lovely and amazing as the carbon seats look, I would want to use this car every single day, and I think these seats are the better ones to do that. Now, what's changing here? You've got a slightly different design to the center console here with different ambient lighting settings here. The ambient lighting is now no longer across the dash. It's now just in this little area here. All the vents and stuff have been completely redesigned, different surrounds up here on the dashboard and in the center. There is still no buttons really in the middle here other than your hazards, your max air con for your window and your rear heated screen. But other than that, everything is done on the screen. And this is the brand new version of BMW's operating system. And I think they've made it so much easier now to use the air conditioning. And it's just an easier place to find your heated seat, your heated steering wheel and so on. Of course, we've still got 
wireless android auto and apple carplay which to be honest that's probably what you're going to use that's what most people are going to link to and then we've got a brand new steering wheel directly in front of me this is lovely it's flat bottomed it's covered in carbon fiber there's lashings of it everywhere the carbon shift paddles behind as well are incredible then you've got your m buttons on here too you've got a bespoke display directly in front of you just a, a bespoke m heads up display as well and it's just a lovely lovely place to sit other than that everything's the same down here and it's just still, in my opinion, just the absolute pinnacle of everyday accessible performance. I think it's absolutely superb. And honestly, if my numbers were to come in, this, this would be it. I'd have to have an M3 Touring because it's just, it's phenomenal. It does everything. Unbelievable tire shredding performance. And then such a lovely place to sit and the, the big thing for me is these things are so comfortable this is a fabulous place to sit and now with all these additional little changes and updates i think it's better than ever so if you want any more information on the brand new bmw m3 touring facelift or the previous generation any bmw for that matter please use the link in the description of this video to contact your nearest sit in a bmw retailer please like this video subscribe to the channel for plenty more content to come and i'll see you guys again very very soon